So, a man of few words, they say, will do it all pretty well. So, how do you do that when it comes to weather forecast? One word? Beautiful. That's the way things have been, and that's going to be kind of the way things are going to go. But there will be a few changes. There's actually a cold front coming through right now, but it's a really weak one. The only real difference you're going to feel from that cold front tonight isn't so much the temps dropping, because it does that at night anyway, but you're going to notice the wind starting to come down a little bit after a bit of a breezy day today. And beyond that, the temps will drop somewhat tomorrow versus today. And aside from that, nothing's going to change. Not much for clouds, maybe a contrail, maybe a cloud or two. That's about off. And I know for those of you, the growing season is done, so we're not talking about the gardeners, but for the fire threat, they're popping up everywhere. Not going to get much as far as that either. Temp's pretty good around the north country. Temperatures right on average where you'd expect them to be as well. We're not setting records, not by any stretch of the imagination. Getting down to those nice low temperatures though in the morning time. So if you were brave enough to leave the windows open, and tonight wouldn't be a bad night, I wouldn't leave it hanging open. But uh, it's going to be nice good sleeping weather up here coming up. But still, the fire danger is most definitely a high point right now. Weather eyes across the north country. We had Bob and Bluffton, saw a beautiful day as well. It's got 71 for that daytime high, 34. So at least Bob's getting some good sleeping weather as well. Temperatures across the map, no record set, nor were we expecting them to. But boy, it really was pleasant. And check that out, 82 in late September along the Red River Valley. Not a record for them either. I did look, 87 was their daytime high. They get really warm along the Red River Valley. Even the Twin Cities only got up to double hockey stick, 64 in uh, Ely. Lows this morning, yeah, right around the uh, freezing mark, except up in northwestern Minnesota. Roseau got up to 48, or down to 48, I should say, but that's pretty good for a late September overnight temperature. That's a chilly June night. Radar screen, not a whole lot to mention. We've just got a whole lot of nothing showing up. Even on that cold front as it's moving through right now, it's not stirring up anything. And off to the west, Dennis, very interested to know what's coming that's what's coming. Everything up here from the Canadian high, you can see what's keeping everything down low. The rain is going to stay well down, and we're getting all this stuff that's way up to the north and west, which is a whole lot of bupkis, nothing. So this is the pattern we're going to get, and it'll go on through tomorrow as well. Sunshine everywhere, 61 or right around there, 60-ish for the high temp for a lot of folks. Temps are not going to widely range, but you might see a cloud, you might not. Sun is going to be the uh, dominating force that we're going to be seeing for the next little while, so Get used to it, enjoy it as best you can. Tonight, a very nice night. There will be some widespread frost across the north country. We'll drop down to about uh, the freezing mark or so. Winds already settling down out of the north tomorrow. A lot less wind than we had today. Sunshine everywhere. It's going to be a little cooler, though, by roughly 10 degrees or so. The winds are not going to be too much of an event. Beyond that, here it comes. Same old, same old, same old. Really nothing changing. And after this cold front, you can notice that dip in temps. But as we get to the latter part of the week and work our way toward the weekend, homecoming for the Beavers, it's going to be fantastic. Just absolutely gorgeous. Temps will be flirting with 70. I think uh, you guys are going to be in for some good stuff. And I think Josh won't get frozen out there covering uh, Beaver homecoming this weekend. Everybody, everybody likes the warmer temperatures as we get into October. We need the rain, though. We really, really, really mm -hmm. do. It's not even funny anymore, but yeah. uh, it's just not, not going to happen. No. no.